What can the movie The Black Panther teach you about creating a more dynamic scene for your audience? The answer to that question will be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. The other day I was watching an interview with Ryan Coogler. He was the director of the Black Panther movie that made a billion and a half dollars and was a worldwide phenomenon. There was one line he shared in the interview that at first struck me as odd, but then when he explained it, it made complete sense to me. The interviewer said, one of the things I like about you, Ryan, is, th is this concept of everybody eats. I thought, Okay, why is that? There's nothing insightful about that. That's an obvious duh. But then Ryan explained. He said, obviously, I love movies. And in many of the films that I've watched over the years, something was missing. People weren't engaged in everyday activities like eating. I thought, oh, that makes sense. When he created street scenes in the city of Wakanda, which is integral to the Black Panther movie, he had scenes that showed what I would call street vendors, people creating food. When I went back and watched those scenes, I thought, ah, that's it. It makes so much more sense. It feels more real, even though this is a fantasy city in this superhero universe. It felt real to me. What does this have to do with your next story or presentation? Add one, maybe two details to pull the audience a little deeper into the scene. Let's say a man is talking about the day his wife told him that she was expecting their first child. He could say, I'll never forget the moment she told me she sat down and she said, Rick, I've got news. I'm pregnant. That's okay. But he could take us so much deeper into that scene with a couple of details. He could say, I'll never forget the moment... I got the news. My wife Janice and I were sitting in an Applebee's restaurant. I had just put a French fry into my mouth when she said, honey, I've got news. I'm pregnant. Do you see the difference? Whether or not you love Applebee's is irrelevant. Just picture your favorite restaurant. Can you hear the noise going on in the background? Can you see them sitting at the table? He just put a French fry in his mouth. It creates more realism for the scene and it helps us feel like we're right there watching it, feeling it, and hearing it. Very few presenters do this. Those that do stick out. And don't make the mistake on the opposite end of giving way too many details. We've each heard the presenter or we each have that family member who gives way too much information and creates a novel. Just one or two details is all we need. Do that and watch your story come to life and see how your audience responds and feels more connected. Talk with you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.